bugging out. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Find me a few minutes, Commander. All right. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Oh! Damn it! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. It, oh, yes. This is my least favorite part. Basically, I think what I did before actually was put someone there and someone there. And I, I had turrets and it was lovely and great. And now I don't and sad and me. Nobody and, gets past us. Clear? Understood. And I stayed up here. Even when I was an engineer. Got him? There we go. Okay. We've got company. I need more time, Commander. Come on. There we go. They go off after a certain amount of time. The proximity mine would be a good idea to throw down, though. Got you. Are you still alive? You rolled out of the way. I think I saw that. Let's throw a proximity mine down right here. I don't know if he, I don't know if he will, but more incoming. Need more time. I'm, I know, man. You got it. So far, we're good. Is that an engineer? Dropping in a couple at a time, you know, on each side. Appreciate it. Come on. Ah. I am gonna run out of ammo. As long as I can, I'll be careful with my shots. They're sending everything they've got. Well, if they send in the big Watch guys, I, I have the scorpion. Please, will you 
take his shields out? slightly above him. You're dead. You're not dead. Now you are. Oh, shoot. Atlas! I knew, I knew there was going to be an Atlas. Wait, we got this one. Take that thing down, now! Well, we need to take out the last guy. Where's the Atlas at? How far does the scorpion go? My gun's still visible in my hand. I can't even see the atlas. There it is. Quick use of all manner of... He's taking fire! Protect him! Who's taking fire? What? How is he taking fire? There's no dudes. much I can do because I can't get up there. Fire! Protect him! Nothing left of his platoon. I don't. I don't know. mechanism and that was the bomb the glowing part I thought we were gonna pull him out but I was really bummed I was really bummed about this 
Just this young guy, it's so much potential. Commander, I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining server's troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and war is expected. He did us proud, but... We're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just... expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, indeed. He did not hesitate. It's true. And I think he, I mean, he was, he, he tried to keep an eye out for other options, but when it, when he knew what he had to do, he did it. I think part of him knew that, maybe part of him thought that this would be, this is the way he wanted to be remembered, not, Good work not as the Joker one who Commander. messed up. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in, won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy. Oh crap! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> we don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Dude, it's my ship at risk! <laughs> Check it out. But Rex is gonna tear crap apart. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The genophage wasn't enough. You had to plant a bomb on my this planet. Was, this was centuries ago. The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. He didn't know about it till just recently. We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you make your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Come on, Rex. It's been a hard day for everybody. I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Kick a man yes. while he's down! The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn. Just kick a man <laughs> while he's down! Jeez Louise! I don't think either option would be good, but... My son... He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Yeah. We all deal with loss in our own way. Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Despite everything, Primark, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first to lose their son to this war. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. Good. Ah, uh, did we... The Solarian Dalatras worries about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the moon you found me on. Right. They were that relentless. That's all. Of course, Commander. Well, let's see what we got. 
Right, I got some new crucible tech. And Black Watch. Team of exceptionally skilled special ops soldiers, Black Watch is sent on missions that threaten the safety of Paladin itself. It was pulled from the homeworld by order of Primarch Adrian Victus, who wanted to mobilize this elite force in the less hopeless situations across the galaxy. The majority of Black Watch's operations are classified, although it's generally accepted that they have the highest success rate of any Turian unit in history. There are rumors that Sar Saren Ar Arturius was part of Black Watch before becoming a Spectre. Although, given his youth when he joined the Turian army, it seems highly unlikely. <laughs> Look, we're almost to the minimum requirement. <laughs> no worries. We'll be, we'll be all the way. All the way. A Turian to pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. Just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Now is there something you need? Uh, nope. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Need something, Shepard? Yeah, I was just making sure. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. At least I've got a Krogan on my ship, even if I can't have one on my crew. It's the least diverse cast of any Mass Effect game. Mass Effect 3. So, Sarah, how about your buddy? The one who joined Cerberus. You heard from him? No, I cut ties. Reported him for whatever good that did. No way I want that crap on my record. Yee. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, Trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. It's not that I'm volunteering <laughs> for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Noted. Okay. Once more, time to make the rounds. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian I use this world I use this secret. joke in a paper once. That is unlikely. So rarely took part in raids on Rathni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Solarian sees thousands of Rathni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, you think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke <laughs> plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Mm-hmm. I used that in a humor and games class that I was in on a paper I wrote for that class. <laughs> you gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. <laughs> I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. The Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. Commander. It's in a different tone of voice, the commander. What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are oh. demanding human leaders into their superstructures in oh. order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper's gonna be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, 
This will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. I'm so stressed out! I was so stressed out the first time I played this. I know a lot of people, when they played this game, rushed through it really quickly because it felt, and they missed out on a lot of things and didn't maybe get the ending exactly. Like, they lost more than they would have if they had tried to take their time, you know? Oop, I guess we're going to engineering. But, yeah, they, uh, like, I, I felt very rushed and freaked out, but I also, I was like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get everything I can, you know? I'm gonna bring every single thing I can to this fight. So I took my time, even though it killed me. Whoop, 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 nothing. Okay. There's like no reason to go into the basement anymore. Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Durian. You are cunning. Uh huh. And by addition, <laughs> you mean slave race? Subservient race. Right. Yeah. Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes. Nothing struggles. You don't even like grows. peace, man. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. <laughs> Garrus is like, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> I bet you Java just sits down here sometimes and he thinks of things. And then when he does, he like phones up, up people and they're like, oh no, and they answer and he's just like, let me tell you this thing. And they're like, okay, Javik, uh, you have about 30 seconds before I hang up on you. <laughs> there is some enjoyment in speaking to this Durian. His knowledge of war is formidable, though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. Well, ne not necessarily. Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. They tried! They were throwing planets at each other, guy! Yes. <laughs> sometimes, you just want to shake Javik or punch him. I just want to punch him sometimes. It's like, he's growing, he's learning, but his culture is so different from ours. It's just... Not that it's right or okay, but you just... Everybody kind of takes that into account that they can't really... You can't just instantly convince him of something that is goes against everything he's been taught since he was born. That last drop on Tachanka was intense. Heck yeah. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. I appreciate you checking in on me. You're welcome. Good to see you, Commander. Good to see you too, Cortez. <laughs> Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. I knew you would. Do you hear that hum? Is that just yeah. me? We're all indoctrinated. I might have picked up a couple new pieces of armor. I only have the one. Let's see. That, one, that might be new. Increases the weapon damage, but takes away... Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I had the N7 arms on. Rosenkov is the power- increases power recharge. Dang. I think those are new. Look at those. Those are cool looking. that do increases the headshot damage and the weapon damage a little bit Ariaki does the melee those are neat looking they look kind of like muscle like exposed muscle that takes away all of my health boost but maybe we'll maybe we'll go without the health boost for now and we'll go with the power recharge. That's a big power recharge boost. Hmm. What did it do? Took away ammo capacity. I don't know about it. 
I like how clunky these are. I love it. Woo! I'll do that whenever we go out. Weapon upgrade, procurement interface. Assault rifle, the piercing mod. Yeah, let's get the upgrade on the piercing mod. Oops. The gauntlets. I must have missed those somewhere. The blood dragon armor. I did really like that one. It was very cool. Very cool looking. <gasps> Whoa. Huh. Interesting. Sniper rifle there. I think I'll try the one I have, but well. Well, let's get it. Let's just get it. I've got tons of money. We could, we've got two of us that have sniper rifles, so. Hmm. Can't afford any of those. Sniper rifle piercing mod. Yes. Ye increases weapon by a lot. Oh, let's look. Tempest, the phaser ton. Sizer and the Raptor. Just give me all of the Raptor. We'll get the Incisor up. Well. Eh, what the heck? We'll just get the Incisor up all the way too. a ton of money, so I will be careful. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna look at now. Viper Mantis. The incisor has a real... Oh, yeah, because it does that triple burst. Where is the raptor? Whoa. Not as much damage, but it looks really cool. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that one out. Mm hmm. Do I have any more damage boosts I can give it? Look how cool it looks. Capacity, eh? Increases the damage. It's the piercing mod that I have in there. Right. 
I do enjoy that one. Still have really good weight. I only have the first one of the Tempest. <laughs> How many? I could use the shuriken. I mean, the shuriken is probably technically better. They're almost exactly the same, but technically it's better. Because I have it more fully upgraded, so yeah. Look at that recharge speed! Ah, it's fantastic! That was cool! Fun! New, new weapon! I love new weapons. Someone pointed, about the Atlas mech, someone pointed out that even if you get an intact Atlas mech, the sh if, if you get in it, the front shield is always broken. Which makes you a sitting duck, essentially. But in the game, it's not like that. It's like, oh, you're fine, you still have armor in front of your face. I'm like, no, I don't. Let's see, where is everybody? Garrus is back. Where's, oh, it's like, where's they are at? In a room. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Mm, I remember that one. I would rather go that way, too, to be honest. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. <laughs> Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. Yeah, now that we have one resurrected Prothean, now we're asking for like a the certain Krogan kind. The Krogan are gearing you know? up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, <laughs> really. It's yeah. good to see you. You as well. No new emails. Greetings, Commander. Uh, thanks, Glyph. Sometimes his greetings are a bit off. Like, as I'm leaving, he's like, Greetings! I'm like, No! <laughs> I'll assume you didn't know about this. Wizard <laughs> friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people are <laughs> on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and next time, uh, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. <laughs> I love how he knew I was here. <laughs> I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. Yeah, you say that just after the conversation with Rex. I'm glad Rex. Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. T t taking it well is, it, you know, in the fact that he's 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 okay with not murderizing How's you. How's it going? How's it going? Pretty good, buddy. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm just glad he doesn't say the whole calibration thing over and over again. That was that was mildly frustrating, and I wasn't even romancing him. I hope in the Andromeda they give you like three phrases or something. Each person gets like three phrases they go through. Doctor, I'd like to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rate. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh, better to die to a thread than <laughs> roaring raw than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Chiaga in her veins. 
Or up to fight since Torians can With diplomats instead of a cran But she'll be true to Duchanka's dream And live and die a Krogan queen For she is the Krogan queen Hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan queen And it is, it is a glorious thing To be the Krogan queen <laughs> Still prefer Patter song Of course <coughs> I really had to twist your arm <laughs> They're so cute. Man, I don't I'm going to have to do other things maybe to keep maybe it might just be main mission stuff, but uh, maybe I'll just try it right now really quick to come back in like this. Maybe? No? Okay. I don't know how much dialogue they've got. I've never really heard it. Mm. Is that everybody? That is. That should be everybody. Let's go to my cabin really quick. I don't have to worry about feeding my fish anymore since I bought the automatic fish feeder, but... I love how they give you banshee hints before you've even met a banshee. It's like, thanks for making me look forward to that. Hello, fishies! Hello, fishies! I'm not buying any more fish, because when I get my jellyfish, I want them to be the main attraction. Oh, hey, frog! Ah, good boy. Gotta come up here and say hi to frog, though. Alright, well, it looks like I'm gonna call this one here. Again, not sure how I'm gonna split this, but you know, it's good to play some Mass Effect again. I've missed it. I'm hoping to have some more time, but we'll see. Um, thank you guys for waiting and for watching. I appreciate it, as always, and I will see you in the next one.